doing a documentary, it, it, we, we can. Um, it's much different than doing a, a movie with an actor acting like Bob and stuff like that. This is a, this is the documentary is a real story. Is is speaking with people, new Bob personally, family, and you get a good a good picture of him life, you know, without having an actor acting like him, pretending to be him. Right. You know, it's a whole different story that you know. When I met him, and we started, I started the routine. You know, my routine was getting up in the mornings, train, do a lot of running, exercise, go to the beach. So it, bec it became an integral part of our lifestyle. The whole Rasta thing is based on eternal life and taking care of your body is the temple of the Lord. And we'd run on the beach and then up this mountain to a place called Cane River Falls. It's an incredible waterfalls. I shot some video up there. Cane River, we went up there really to get the waterfall. Eat on your back and thing on you. It's like the best massage you can get. This spot we're standing on now was the stadium. This was a football field. So we had like two goal posts, you know, like small scrimmage. You know, the most we ever played was five a side scrimmage. So you had one there, then we had one down the back here. So I said maybe, wow, that's a small field when you look at it. Probably was what, 40 yards? In everything that Bob does, very competitive. So you know, everything him really gave it 110%. In Mount Zion, he rules all creation. He had a passion. Everything I did with a ball, he would try to do it. He just didn't play for the fun of it. You know. It was part of the process, you know. Because before he writes a song, he burn a spliff. Then you go run so you can lively up yourself, and then you get more inspired so the lyrics can come out. I tell you the truth, you like play everywhere. Anywhere it is possible, you know? <laughs>